scrolling through Facebook a few months ago, and I came across an article that was circulating. It was about the release of a new Barbie doll, modeled after hijab-wearing Olympic fencer, woman of color, Itzi Haj Muhammad. I smiled, but I immediately kept scrolling. Um, it reminded me of when I was a little girl growing up in Gainesville. I loved playing with Barbies. <laughs> I used to get a new one every 8th in the Muslim holiday when we'd go to Toys R Us and uh, we'd uh, pick our gifts. But instead of reaching for the tan-skinned, dark-haired doll, I'd always reach for the white, blonde-haired Barbie doll. The one I wished I looked like. The one who looked more like all my classmates and teachers and friends. The one who's pale porcelain skin and sun-kissed hair looked like my favorite main characters on television shows. The one whose nominal color combinations, not to mention unrealistic proportions, <laughs> <laughs> were hailed as most beautiful. My seven-year-old self started to believe something very damaging about herself, something I think many people in this room can relate with uh, in different ways. She started to believe she wasn't pretty because she wasn't white, she wasn't blonde. She wasn't pretty because the skin she was in wasn't what was showcased and represented everywhere around her. She started to feel othered. But fast forward to years later, in middle school, I started to wear hijab. My best friend and I decided decided to start wearing it at the same time, even though we didn't go to the same school. We used to call each other and swap tips about uh, different ways to wrap the scarf and how to match it with our clothes. In a world where women's bodies have been constantly objectified, hijab says, respect me. Hijab says, know me for who I really am, not a shell that I had no choice but to be born in. I love hijab for that reason. But, like I said, it's also easy to feel othered with that. Um, sometimes I'll get the strangest questions like, So, are you in an arranged marriage? Or, did your dad make you wear that? Or, my favorite, do you shower in that? <laughs> or, why aren't you married? <laughs> Um, but, you know, anyways, I grew up, I healed, I shared, people shared with me what made them feel less than, different, not good enough, um, othered. Um, I went to college, a progressive campus where I was happy to see beauty in all its diversity. And on that October day when I was scrolling through Facebook, I was sad that a Barbie like that didn't exist when I was a kid. but. Happy that now many little girls around the world have a doll that they can actually relate with. One that I hope reminds them they are beautiful. Thank you.